Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Capricorn for March of 2019, but the monthly readings are already up, so you can check those out, the, um, you know, the tarot along with the healing session that everybody loves and is getting a lot out of, which I love, so you can check them out on my channel, but today I'm bringing you through a different kind of spread, um, and... I feel like someone had those cards. Um, a different kind of spread. So we just got done with the Get Over Your Ex Challenge in five days on the Facebook group. But I wanted to come on because we had such good stuff going on there that I wanted to share it with you before I take it down. So it's going to be going down in like about a, a little over a week. So get in there while you can if you are having trouble and you're stuck on your ex. So this spread is going to be, the link is in the description in the comments below. But this is going to tell you about your relationship and them, you, and then why you're stuck and how to move on, okay? Um, again, please remember that these are general readings. I guess my candle went out, so I'll move this over here. Um, general readings, so therefore take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and you can check out your moon and rising signs in order to see if they resonate on a deeper level, okay? All right, so here we go. So the relationship... You have the Emperor and you have the Death card. Now please remember that this could be vice versa energy, but I feel like someone in the relationship was on a higher level. Okay, there was I feel like there was a lot of back and forth and a lot of changes kept happening. If somebody wanted something, like that's what would have to be. Um, so this could have been you or this could have been them. And maybe someone wasn't following it or liking it as much because that death card is like transformation. So I feel like something kept changing within the relationship. Now, this could be narcissistic, uh, you know, how basically everything is good and then things kind of switch. Uh, the love bombing stage in the beginning and then things switch. But um, if it's not... It, it's just that it was constantly switching, like changing, and there was there was one person that had the level up, like either one person was more invested than the other, um, and maybe things had to keep changing in order to keep them. Like may, I'm getting here, like for some of you, they might have wanting to, wanted to keep leaving, but you kept like convincing them to stay. Okay, is also what I'm getting for a couple of you there. All right, so let's talk about them. What about them? Oh, all right, I'm going to do you too. I feel like they weren't happy. You have the five of cups and the queen of pentacles here. And with the, with this two energy, you know, with the, with the five of cups, it's like they were focusing on everything that was wrong with the relationship and not looking at anything that was right. Uh, so they could have just been really kind of negative, uh, looking down. I'm getting for a couple of you, like they felt as though you weren't good enough for them, which is bullshit. But like, you know, that's how they felt. Like, so say if they were a business person and like you were a waitress, I don't know, just putting that out there. Like they felt as though you weren't status enough or, or whatever is just kind of what I'm feeling is that they just didn't think that you were kind of on their level. All right. So, which is... Please don't let that affect you. Oh, look at this, the Empress. Um, yeah, and with that Queen of Pentacles, I just feel, I, sorry guys, but I feel like they are stuck up. They were a little stuck up here with the Queen of Pentacles the energy with the Five of Cups. Like they were stuck up and they're turning their nose up at you, right? And that's, that's kind of like how I feel. Or you could have been doing that to them. Again, the energies could be vice versa. But um, I definitely feel like they thought they were all that. So maybe narcissistic. But, um, or narcissistic tendencies, you know. I don't like to diagnose, but um, I can't diagnose. I'm not a doctor. But um, yeah, I definitely feel as though they thought they were too good or better than other people. So, um, and over here, it's like you just wanted to love them. You, you just wanted to take care of them, nurture them. Um, but in some ways they couldn't, they didn't let you like with this two of swords here with like your eyes are blinded. I also feel as though you might've been blinded to their ways, excuse me, to their ways, like also blinded to how they really were or how they, excuse me, how the hiccups really are. Okay. 
So I, I feel like you're very nurturing and you just want to kind of make it work and, and be with them. But you did not know who you were getting involved with, I feel. I feel like they hit it, that death card there. Um, they made it sound like they were the greatest person in the world. And then you come to find out that, no, they're just very selfish and stuck up. All right. So why are you stuck? Yeah. So I feel like you're stuck because it's hard work. It's hard work to move forward. You know, it doesn't just happen like that. You have the chariot here and you have the two of pentacles. And, you know, I'm getting for some of you that you might be juggling a lot of stuff where it's hard to take that time to heal and take that time to focus on you and what went wrong because you're moving forward, but it's taking a lot of effort. And a lot of you don't want to do that effort. Like it's painful and you're kind of avoiding it and you're avoiding it by keeping yourself busy by distracting yourself. And we talk about that in the challenge as well, is that it's a distraction from really healing. I'm going to take this off. Um, really healing yourself, right? And you're keeping yourself busy so that you don't have to deal with the pain and the hurt of the situation, of the breakup. Okay. Now, let's have, how many cards are here? Yeah. Okay. So how to move forward. Huh. Yeah. I, I mean, can't say it any more clear. The hermit the three of swords and the justice card. The way to move forward is to go within, is to remove the swords from your heart and to get what you fully deserve, which is not karma and not revenge. It is loving yourself, respecting yourself and accepting yourself. But you can't get there without putting effort into it and going within because this is all about you. And if you do the challenge, you'll see what I'm talking about here is that you've got to go within in order to, to move on from this person. Okay. And you'll see in the challenge that it's not about the person at all. It's about you. Okay. So I hope that resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below if it does. Um, also, let me know if you like this spread. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. And I'm also thinking about doing mid-month. So if you uh, let me know how it resonates and also give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and if you want me guys, if you want me to do mid months, then let me know in the comments below as well. All right. Much love to you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Hope to see you in the challenge. Bye.